The things that we're thankful for tend to come from people who devote their lives to something greater than themselves. Many folks come to that devotion late in life, but Craig Kielberger discovered it early. As a 12-year-old in Canada, he read about the murder of a boy his age in Pakistan. Iqbal Masi was a slave in a carpet factory. Masi escaped to lead a campaign against servitude, but within two years, he was silenced. Kielberger put down the newspaper and rose to speak. He made Iqbal Masi's fight his own. He talked to classmates, to Congress, to Parliament. Why you? Why not? Eleven friends wanted to help. With no money to start with, they met in his living room and started a charity called Free the Children. So Free the Children today is the world's largest network of children helping children. So what that means in practice is we inspire kids. Then we give them all the tools they need to learn about these issues. Speaking tours, summer leadership camps, curriculum every week. Our bet that we're making is if you give kids the inspiration and the tools to change the world, it'll change their own lives also in the process. And the ripple effect is incredible. Are we ready for We are! You can feel that ripple in the Free the Children celebrations that Kielberger calls We Day. He does as many as nine of these a year. And when we came to this one in Vancouver, there were 20,000 kids. We Days feature acts like Nelly Furtado, Jennifer Hudson, and lectures by activists including Nobel Peace Prize winner Desmond Tutu. We Day isn't just a day. We Day is a movement, a movement that happens all year long. Kielberger is joined on stage every We Day by his older brother Mark. You coming together and taking action. When we see in the stadium all those faces of all those kids, how did they get there? You can't buy a ticket to We Day. Any kid can earn their way in for whatever cause they care about, half local, half global, and they're there. These are kids who have done, you know, bake sales and car washes, and they've started their own charities. And when they leave, they bring that inspiration. We Day is just the beginning. We followed that bake sale money back to St. Anne's School in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Free the Children recruits through schools, almost turning them into chapters of the global organization. There's so much trouble in the world. Yes. When we met 11-year-old Magdalena Dutkowska and 12-year-old Joey Hopkins, they were headed to Kenya. This is one of the places that Kielberger set out to change, the Maasai Mara in Kenya. Joey Hopkins and Magdalena Dutkowska raised enough money back in Connecticut to join other volunteers to build a new classroom here. Over the last 10 years, 130 schools have been built in Kenya. Sharon, let me start with you. What does this school mean to you? It means a lot to me because at first I could not even talk to people like you now. I did not understand English well. But now this school has helped me a lot to know more English and gain more confidence. How long have you been in this school? One and a half years. You've learned this much English in one and a half years? Yes. That's amazing. How many of you think you're going to go to university? Everybody. At the end of the project, the Maasai honored Magdalena and Joey with a celebration and a traditional gift. By the time they cut the ribbon, it was hard for us to figure which kids had gained the most. The Kenyans got a new classroom, but it was the American kids who learned they can be the change in the world.